Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a snack unboxing, but hold on. We're gonna do both. We're gonna do Universal Yums and Snack Sack today. You know, they don't really compare because you've got one that's from a specific country and one's just healthy snacks, but hey, we got them at the same time. We're gonna go ahead and open up both boxes today and talk about them as we you go. Did, you did pre -open I did not pre-open them, I'm sorry. You can open them as I talk. So we are gonna start with Universal Yums. As I just said, this is a specific box that you can get for a specific country each month. I thought I knew the country that we were getting this month and I forgot what it was, so we'll have to see. Uh, but this is the uh, Yum Snack, or Yum, oh my God, Universal Yums box as the small size. And this one is gonna be $16 a month. Um, you can get larger sizes and even more snacks, but we tend to just go for the small box here. So we're gonna see where we're going this month. Joe, where are we going? Okay, now I remember, yes. <laughs> we're going to Greece. We are going it's to perfect. Greece. perfect, the right. birthplace of the Olympic oh, movement. Oh, okay, fair enough, yes. With the Olympics ongoing yes. uh, right now, um, we're heading to Greece. Okay, and, would you like to go to Greece? I'd like to go to Greece. I think I'd enjoy it. No, uh, maybe, I think I would. Maybe. I don't know, I think it's pussy. We live very near a very uh, prom predominant Greek community here true. in Tarpon Springs. Very For true. those of you in Florida, check out Tarpon mm -hmm. Springs. You go to the Sponge Docks. Opa. Okay. Opa. Um, okay, our packet is, seems to be bigger this month. I don't know. Okay, so we have our sticker that's in here as well, and it says, I discovered the Golden Fleece, which is crossed out to say Feast in Greece. Very cute. And then you also get a little card about um, the country and some specific spots of that country and a little pamphlet as well that tells you about the snacks in the box mm -hmm. and why they're there, as well as some trivia and different uh, components about the country. This month we got a recipe as well and different things about it. Oh, and this is, okay, this is, this was different. This is a day in the life in Greece. So it tells you the things you could do if you were there for a day or the things you would, would do if you lived there. So it talks about your home, it talks about a drink, it talks about attending a play. One of my favorite jokes, I don't know if it's a joke, but one of the things uh -huh. about Greece, um, it's not inappropriate. Okay, good. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal uh, went there and they asked him if he visited the Parthenon. And he said, I don't remember the names of the clubs we visited. Oh boy, okay. Outstanding, okay. Well, here we go. Let's, Let's jump right in. Here, We've got we Tati's Fine okay. Bakery Bread Chips. These are roasted garlic bread chips. Finally, garlic bread that you can snack on. So it's not a bagel chip. It it's looks a, like a bagel chip, well, isn't it? Bagelish. 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 So. Uh, oven baked sunflower oil and uh, no preservatives. Um, 130 per serving, 320 calories uh, okay. total. I think the pieces may be like. Um, they're not like a whole bagel. They're, I think they're anymore. smaller. I don't want to. You don't want to taste it right now? No, I do not. I feel like um, taste something. Um, good for now, but <laughs> I think I can feel they, they appear to be smaller because 17 okay. of them are a certain. Oh, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. So it does say that in Greece, uh, garlic is supposed to be used, for, I guess, for good luck. And we need to um, eat this before so. my birthday because it expires oh. the day before my birthday. Oh, fair enough. So garlic oh. bread chips. All right. All right. There On we go. go. We've got a grape oh. must soft cookie. Mm. Grape must soft cookie. Miriam, could you tell us about Let's the grape read about must this, mold, Okay. Cookie? This is a Greek pressed grapes in a soft ring cookie. Folks don't often use the word musty to describe good things, usually basements or socks. Thank you. But we found this the found the exception. These soft cinnamony cookies are meant to be musty. They're made with literal grape must. A thick mixture made up of freshly pressed juice, skins, seeds, and stems of the grape, usually prepared as the first step in, of winemaking. Fortunately, the must made in the northern Greek city of Kikolis, I don't know, sorry, doesn't get turned into wine. It's used to make this traditional cookie an absolute must for any visit to Greece. I, I feel don't like want to we eat have anything to, that's musty. No, I feel like we have to do this though. No, like, no, no. I'm just Here gonna open it. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, what does this smell? No. Okay, so you got the little cookie here. Looks like a dog treat. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna break it open. I don't. Is this, I thought it was gonna be like a jam inside. No? No, it's the flavor. It's dry. 
Terrible. It grows on me a little bit at the end. Mm. But. It's dry. It's a dry. You know, if you were a coffee person or a tea person, this could be good with like a coffee or a tea. But by itself, I'm not like raving about it. Throw it away. I know I need water, but okay. All right. Well, at least we tried it. Okay. So that is the. Okay, I get a little grape now. Did you get the little grape taste? No. I got a little teeny tiny piece of grape. Oh, I got it right there. I can taste it. Um. It's like, it almost reminds me of a raisin, because obviously that's what a grape is. Okay, so, all right, first thing he's opening, sorry y'all, is the yum bag. If you don't know what a yum bag is, it is a collection of uh, smaller candies that you don't get the whole bag, you just gonna kinda get the, a sample of the candies. And in our yum bag this month, we should have a pomegranate jelly candy, and- That's this one. An almond milk toffee, I that's think. That's this one. Yes. Okay, I am not gonna try these because I just <laughs> just came back from the dentist. So I am going to choose not to partake in this right now, but you can. Um, is there what are you almond opening? in it though? No, okay, this is the almond milk toffee, a soft, rich, and creamy treat from Athens. And it says, they aren't plugging almonds straight from the tree as a snack, they're savoring them in any other meal of the day. Maybe it's because during breakfast, uh, hang on. Okay, even candies with the almond treatment. So feel free to eat these chewy yums any time of day, yet really you're only immersing yourself deeper into local culture. Do you remember the Brock's um, pick your own candy mm -hmm. and you could put a nickel like in or yes. a dime? It's yes. probably a dollar now for a piece of candy. Yes. Uh, I, I like always this. like the cinnamon discs, of course. I like the band. nougat with the- But this tastes like that. The nougat? Yeah, but you oh, can't I mean, have I'm any. not, uh, I got, hmm. Sorry. I'm just a little. Would you like some more of this grape cookie? I just don't, no, no. Okay. So the nougat, yeah, with the little uh, jellies inside. I like that one a lot. Yeah. Does that remind? Okay, maybe I'll have one later. We have some Let's potato chips down. here. They are uh, tomato and paprika. Oh, okay. Is paprika a pepper? Well, it's, it's yeah, ground up. It's ground yeah. up pepper. Mm -hmm. I never knew that. So it says this is garden fresh tomato meets smoky paprika. Um, it just talks a little about um, here that the. Potato has boosted the economy. It says locals believe in the potatoes to be valuable, started selling them, and before long, the potatoes spread countrywide. Uh, and this is just basically a potato chip with a to with to so, uh, tomato and smoky Greek paprika. Those look good. Yeah. Did you eat that? Okay, so those are little paprika. All right, the next one is a pastry, oh. a Greek pastry, and can you think of any? Uh, baklava? Um, yes, you are correct. It's baklava. Oh, okay, Baklava. This is our almond baklava. It says Greece's nutty take on the flaky classic. When you're exploring Greece, there are a few things you must do. See the Parthenon. Shaquille O'Neal. Are you Soak listening? Soak up the sun on a white sand beach mm -hmm. and try baklava. Baklava. Sorry, we don't make the rules. We just happily abide by them. There's so, air in here. Feel that. It's like. Well, it's fl oh, oh, I see. So it's probably protecting it. Cause, okay. So if you've never had baklava, it's very oh. light, flaky, phyllo dough, uh, all that kind of stuff. So it says right here. Why is baklava, baklava a must? Wow. Well, you would be hard pressed to find a single Greek celebration, be it wedding, holiday dinner, or birthday party without a platter of the syrupy centuries old front and center. So this is very heavy as well, but it's rolled up with a little mini burrito, which has all kinds of, it said stringy phyllo dough. This one happens to be uh, honeyed almonds. So an almond, but you can find it in like cinnamon and chocolate and all kinds also, of stuff. Also, be sure to Google search Patton Oswalt Sky Baklava. There's a stand-up routine. Mm -hmm. Sky cake, but sky baklava. Sky baklava. All right, last I item. I can't oh, believe that's it. I know. Well, wait. We still have this piece of the grape cookie. Uh, okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, again, we get the small box. This okay. is a finger. This is a drizzled milk chocolate wafer. It's Greece's version of a better Kit Kat. Here you go. Hello. I gave you the finger. Oh boy. So it says he's saying that it says finger on here. And it says, obsessed with wafers, get excited. Greece is where wafers were invented. Back in 146 BC, uh, they cooked them up by pouring batter between two hot plates. Uh, this says four crispy wafers slathered in cocoa cream, then coated in rich chocolate, and then drizzled with even more chocolate. Yes, please. I'll be eating that tonight or tomorrow. I will like a sample of it, please. Okay. Uh, when you taste it. Um, so yeah, okay, that's, that's our it. box for this that's month for good. Greece. But... I, I'm excited by what we got, except for the, I guess the grape cookie, which at least we tried, you know, whatever. I think, again, it would be good with a beverage of sorts, just not. It reminded me of eating a leg of tire. No, it didn't. Again, I, it, it reminds me of the outer part of a Fig Newton, but 
not as moist, I guess. This is, it was dry, so it needs some moisture hey, in there. What the heck? Okay, oh, so next up, we're gonna go ahead and open up our uh, snack snack for this month. Completely different I here. I got it. Uh, these are gonna be healthier snacks each month. This is $25.95 a month. Ooh. You can get a coupon code for next month. So August, if you wanna sign up for it now, you get August box, 15% off. Use the word study, cause we're going back to school. Uh, and that's the QR code, hang on. So go back to school. Never get it for enough. Of Hang on, <laughs> man, we're a mess. Uh, go back to school next month. So use the word study. There you go. Scan now. Hopefully, there you go. hopefully uh, to get info about this box. But fifteen percent off for next month. And then oh, but we have another brochure in here. Oh, it's about one of the cookies. Okay. So again, these are healthier style cookies. We get the classic box. So Joe, what do we have in the box? We have IOTA brand, um, roasted sunflower kernels with Yum. pink Himalayan salt. <gasps> yeah, those are mine. Okay, so I think we ended up getting these or something similar to this uh, previous box, but these are uh, sunflower kernels. So 120 calories, four grams of carbs, two grams of fiber, and one gram of sugar. I will be enjoying those when we go back to school. In a couple, well, yeah. in one week. I'm pretty fired up about this, and you can have okay. the brochure to go with it. This is okay. home free mm. cookie, cookie, cookie. Uh, these are crunchy double chocolate chip mm. mini cookies. They have a bunch of different and flavors. And they're made with organic, I'm sorry, whole gluten free whole oat flour, mm -hmm. cane sugar, and some other things. There's no rice, no soy, nut free, peanut free, egg free, dairy free, gluten free, tasty. Oh, okay. And these have nine grams of added sugar, 19 carbohydrates, uh, 130 calories. So, yeah. there you go. All right. And these are, oh, they're double chocolate. I didn't hear you say double chocolate chip. Double Double chocolate, chocolate chip. Yeah. Okay, because I, I was seeing the picture on here, and this was just chocolate chip. Here's some right. uh, the CFA. Yes. Uh, Siete Paleo Vegan Chips. It was a grain-free lime flavor. Oh, that's lime flavor. Tortilla chips. Uh, I'm all about a Siete chip. If you have not tried Siete chips, get on it. They're grain-free, which I love. Um, the nacho flavor, oh my gosh, so good. Tastes like a um, Dorito, really. Um, but better burrito. And then um, they have so many different flavors, but these are the lime. And again, I love these because look at these ingredients. Just take a minute. Take a second, look at those ingredients. So clean. Again, cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut flour, chia seed, sea salt, citric acid, lime oil, and I um, mean, so good. One gram of sugar, 130 calories, um, 19 carbohydrates. Again, so clean, so good, such good ingredients. I love Siete. Love you, Siete. All right, we got made good. These are soft baked mini cookies, chocolate banana. Oh, flavor. I've not seen this flavor. They're nut free, chocolate banana. They're made with gluten free flour. Uh, no peanuts, soy, sesame, mm -hmm. fish, shellfish, dairy, tree nuts, wheat, gluten, or egg. All right. Oh, okay. That sounds okay. Okay, no, that's good. And these are, um, we've had made good before. I've not seen this flavor though, of chocolate banana. So that's there. 120 calories, uh, 14 grams of carbohydrates, one gram of fiber, seven grams of total sugar. Six added, so one of them is a natural uh, nice. sugar there. Oh, maybe we could have this instead of tacos Ooh, one night. Yeah, yeah. We've got Kibo uh, chickpea chips, yes. pico de gallo yes, flavor. please. Seven grams of protein, four grams of fiber. Yes. God oh. bless the chickpea. I'm telling you, chickpea all the rage. I, I so he was mentioning a restaurant called Marlowe's Tavern, which is my one of my favorites. They make great tacos but then also they have chickpea fries and i had a conversation with the girl last time i was there and we tr we kept talking about how we're going to try to recreate them it's difficult they're, they're not an easy thing so if you find a place that sells chickpea fries get on it they're so good and so these are chickpea chips so they're high in protein seven grams of protein uh 15 grams of carbohydrates four grams of fiber uh, 110 calories and the fact that it has uh, a cool flavor to it a pico de gallo i'm all about it so these are going to be mine again and snack these box these cool. are going to be mine oh yes this is one potato two potato simply sea salt mm -hmm. sweet potato chips mm -hmm. made with um well are you ready for the ingredients i'm guessing sweet potatoes sweet potatoes safflower oil okay. and or sunflower oil uh -huh. and sea salt that's okay. it I wish they would start using more like coconut oil or avocado oil, but still, okay. That's it. All right, that's pretty good. And so what are the what stats that? on there? Um, People wanna know. It hit 278 last year in uh, Knoxville. 
uh, with 37 home runs. Oh, no, sorry, that's a baseball card. Uh, 220 calories, 13 grams of fat, but only one saturated. Um, 105 uh, sodium. Well, what's the what's the uh, carb in the fiber? Carb is 25, okay. fiber is 3. Okay, and then what's the sugar? 7. 7? Oh, well, because it's a sweet potato. But zero added. It's a sweet potato. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Whatever. All right, enjoy 60% those. 60% of your vitamin A for the day. You can enjoy those for sure. I'll take the I don't know what vitamin chips. A is. What do you mean? But there's 60% of it right here. Good for your eyes. Vitamin C, I know, because of her song, Graduation. Yikes. Wow. Well, vitamin A is good for your eyes. Okay, last, last item. Last item, okay. This is Raw Rev Glow. Radiance from the inside out. Peanut butter, dark chocolate, and sea salt. Something. I don't know. It's I a will bar. Eat this. Yes. Yeah. So this is a, uh, is this a keto bar? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, 11 grams of protein. Hang on. Wait for it. What's the calorie content on here? Oh, uh, 180. Okay. Um... Hold on, you guys. 19 grams of carbohydrates, 13 grams of fiber, Ooh. and three grams of sugar. So in my thought of these, these are meal replacement bars in my opinion, because like for me, again, 180 calories, you know, that could be almost a, half, a meal, half a meal for me. But it, <laughs> so for me, I would do this maybe with, I don't know, if I had a, like a yogurt or something, I might do this with it or something. But um, yeah, that sounds intriguing. And again, the fact that it's mm -hmm. peanut butter, dark chocolate, and sea salt, you're speaking my language right there. And that is it. I feel like we always get maybe like two more snacks. I was counting here, I don't see, I see seven. Well, I just feel like you got 10. Times are tough. Whatever. Um, times are tough. A lot of chips in this box, which I don't, I'm not complaining about. Um, so I know you like that too. Pack for but, pack our lunches. <laughs> like, like I said, um, I'll put a discount code and a link below to find actually both these boxes. I'll put a link below. Uh, but you can get the snack sack box for 15% off for the month of August. Can I get one more bite of the grape cookie? Do you really want it? No. Okay. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, the humor and the information and all. Uh, otherwise, please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys again next Go time. Go Lightning.